Hello everyone, you are welcome to the Plant Therapist YouTube channel. In this video, I will talk about red acalifa, which can be used for skin beautification and skin infection treatment. You have probably been seeing this plant around you and you don't know what it can do for you. In this video, we'll talk about the tremendous uses of red acalifa. Red acalifa or copper leaf, which is also called because of its coppery color, has a botanical name of Acalypha wickersiana. Acalypha wickersiana. And it belongs to the family Ephobaceae. Other names for red Acalypha is Acalypha tricolor or Acalypha amanta case. Red Acalypha also have other common names such as Jacob coat, Flamenguera in Portuguese, Fijian fire plant, fire dragon plant, beef tick plant, red leaf, and in Mexico it is called Mexica payasito or match me if you can. Description Red acalypha is an evergreen shrub growing to about 3 meters in height and 2 meters in width, and it is commonly used as hedges. It is used to beautify homes offices or several event place uh, several places the leaves which may be flat or crinkled are large and broad with feet around the edge the leaves are coppery green with red splashes on it giving them a mottled appearance normally red acalypha do have the male and female flower separately on the same plant the male flower which is an inflorescence, has long spike which hangs downward while the female flower are in short spikes. The flower stalks could be about 10 to 20 centimeter long. Where can you find this beautiful plant called Red Acalypha? Red Acalypha can be found in most countries in Africa such as Nigeria, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Botswana, and many others. It could also be found in several tropical America and also in North America such as Southern Florida. How can we cultivate red acalypha? That is if you want to grow this plant. Red acalypha is a popular outdoor plant that provides color throughout the year. It is used in mixed edges and shrub borders. Red acalypha can be grown indoor also in a container. However, it must be maintained in a warm, humid, bright environment. And this cultivation or propagation is mostly done by cutting the stem at any time of the year. Red acalypha has several medicinal value, and I'm going to mention several of them. But before I continue, I would like you to click the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And also click on the notification button for you to have more several other plants with their medicinal value now what is the medicinal value of red acalypha red acalypha can be used in form of ointment or the water extract first red acalypha ointment several scientific research has established that red acalypha ointment can be used to treat fungal diseases, mostly the skin diseases, in patients with clinical evidences of mycosis. And it was proven that the ointment successfully yielded about 73.3% of the patient. Other fungal diseases that this red acalypha ointment can be used to treat is tinea pedis, which is commonly called the athlete's foot. Also, tinea vesicolor, which is caused by yeast, and also a common fungi infection, which causes discolored patches of the skin. More importantly, red acalypha can be used to cause to cure diaper rashes in babies, and also rashes between fingers in different ages, from children to adults. Generally. Red acalypha can be used to treat most candida rashes around the skin foldings in kids and adults. Water extract of red acalypha 
was also discovered to inhibit the growth of bacteria such as Staphylococcus aureus. Do you know what this implies? Staphylococcus aureus is one of the pathogens of eczema. Therefore, the water extract from red acalypha leaf can be used to treat eczema. Yes, the skin of people with eczema, also known as atopic dermatitis, often contains high numbers of Staphylococcus aureus. So the leaf of red acalypha boil in water can also be used to massage patients with fever. Now, to so the preparation of red acalypha water extract for the treatment of several skin infections such as eczema, diaper rashes in babies, rashes between fingers or toes, athlet foot, and of course, skin mycosis. Do you know that aside all this skin infection, where the Khalifa can be used as a normal beauty routine for kids and adults alike, you take the water extract of red Khalifa boiled and you take your bath with it and you allow it to dry on your skin. If you do this, red Khalifa help in preventing skin infection and also it helps moisturize your skin. So now to the preparation of red Khalifa water extract. You take few leaves of red Khalifa and you cut, you detach from the stem and you wash this leaf under the running tap. Then you wash under the running tap and you add about one liter of water in a pot and you eat up the red Khalifa in the one liter of water in the pot for about 15 minutes or until the water turns red. Yes. And you can see this red coloration is the anthocyanin content of the leaf, which helps in fighting or combating the skin, by the microorganism causing infection in the skin. So you allow this to cool. And then after cooling, you can take this to your zinc and you drain the water in, in a bowl you drain the water in a bowl and of course you allow the hot red acalypha water extract you leave to cool for several minutes or until it is really warm and then you can use the red acalypha water extract to have your bath you can also use it on the infected body part, whether on eczema on your face, on the skin, the rashes and under your skin foldings. And of course, you should do this after washing the infected area with a soap and then with clean water. Then you apply the red acalypha. So if you have any question, kindly drop a comment in the comment section. You can repeat the process of the use of red acalypha water extract for about three to five times in a week. Now, importantly, if you use the red acalypha and you found a result, please share your experience in the comment section. So thank you for watching. I would like you to click the like button. You also click the subscribe button and click the notification button to be aware of our weekly updates on the uses of medicinal plants around you. In the next video, I will be talking about the amazing uses of lemongrass. Do you know everyone needs to take a lemongrass tea? Subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification button for the next video to know the innermost health benefits of lemongrass. And I will show you on how to make a lemongrass tea. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.